It's Paul from the Awesomer here, and we are checking out the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Limited. It's all new on an all new platform this year. The Toyota Tacoma debuted back in 1995 with the last generation model, having seen seven model years of action. For 2024, the Tacoma got a top to bottom revamp from its design to its platform and drivetrain. While I've always enjoyed Toyota's midsize pickup, the fourth gen model provides notable upgrades and improvements over 2023 and earlier model years. Toyota offers the Tacoma in eight grades and with three different engine setups. The lineup starts with the base Tacoma SR with the SR5, TRD Prerunner, TRD Sport, TRD Offroad, Limited, Trail Hunter, and TRD Pro, each adding features and capabilities. The Limited model I drove is more sporty than rugged in its appearance, though it still has the chiseled athletic look that's become synonymous with Toyota trucks of late. The Limited has more shiny chrome bits than other grades, including its grille, lower fascia, mirror caps, exhaust pipe, and wheels. So it looks more upscale and urban than the Tacoma's more rugged and workhorse variants. The Tacoma Limited is also the first mid-sized truck I've seen with power running boards. I'm not sure it's tall enough to need them, but it's a nice premium feature. While all 2024 Tacomas have a 2.4 liter turbo four engine, the iForce Max is the one to get if you want maximum torque. This hybrid drivetrain produces 326 total system horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. The base SR model has an engine that only makes 228 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque, while the mid-grade iForce engine makes 270 to 278 horsepower and 310 to 317 pound-feet of torque. The Tacoma Limited starts with this engine, but the one I drove was upgraded to the beefier iForce Max. This hybrid engine can tow 6,000 pounds, while the regular iForce has a slight advantage and can tow 6,400 to 6,500 pounds. While most new Tacomas have a smooth shifting eight speed automatic transmission, the SR, TRD Sport, and TRD Off-Road are also available with a six speed manual for those who like to row their own gears. There are some rear wheel drive grades, but everything above the TRD Pre-Runner comes exclusively with four wheel drive. While it has two fewer cylinders than the outgoing model's top end engine, the hybrid drivetrain is significantly more responsive and offers much better fuel economy too. The old 3.5 liter V6 offered about 48 fewer horsepower and 200 fewer pound-feet of torque. It also only got 18 miles per gallon combined compared to the new hybrid's 24 MPG EPA number. Overall, I've been impressed with this engine, having recently experienced it in the new Toyota Land Cruiser as well. The Tacoma's four-wheel drive system offers a two-speed transfer case with three selectable modes, low range, high range with locked center diff, and a full-time four-wheel drive. In normal mode, the Tacoma's independent suspension is pretty softly tuned, providing a comfortable ride on a variety of road surfaces. The Limited gets an adaptive variable suspension system, which tightens things up nicely when you set the drive mode to Sport Plus. As you'd expect from a body-on-frame truck, there is some body roll, but nothing noteworthy. The electronically assisted power steering system isn't too light, so you feel like you're in control, though it's not exactly sporty. There's good insulation in the cabin, keeping road noise down, and I didn't encounter any squeaks, rattles, or other unwanted sounds. I've not spent any time inside of other 2024 Tacoma grades, but the Limited's interior is very nice indeed. It's got a hefty and substantial style and some nice material design choices that give it an upscale look. The Limited seats are wrapped in a smooth and easy to clean soft tech synthetic leather. And there's a neat faux wood material on the dashboard and door trim that almost looks like forged carbon fiber. The grab handles on the doors and center console have a grippy texture that reminds me of a circuit board. The front seats have eight-way power adjustments, heating, and ventilation, and are more comfortable than prior generation seats, offering a much improved driving position for tall drivers. The steering wheel also provides more adjustability than before. The Tacoma Limited's dashboard is capped off by a large 14-inch diagonal touchscreen backed with the Toyota multimedia system. I was pleased with the responsiveness of the system, and I like how well it's integrated with both Android Auto and CarPlay. In addition to wireless support for those phone ecosystems, there's a wireless charging dock for your phone. Toyota's interior design resisted the urge to replace buttons and knobs in their cabin, and I appreciate that. I much prefer the tactile inputs for things like climate, volume, and vehicle drive modes, and I'm happy to say that all of these have physical controls in the Tacoma. I really like the chunky knob design they went with too. 
The glove box is on the smaller side, but has a handy tray above it that's good for storing a phone. There's also cutout storage pockets in the doors that are placed higher than most, making them easier to use and to see what's inside. Technology abounds and includes a 360 degree surround view camera, a head up display, and a digital rear view mirror. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 comes standard, and the truck also has a Class 4 towing hitch, a trailer brake controller, and a trailer blind spot monitor. The higher grade Tacomas also get a really nice 10 speaker JBL audio system that kicks out good volume throughout the cabin. The overall sound quality is crisp with good highs and mids, though I found it to be a little bit lacking in the bass department. One unique feature that comes with this audio system is a portable JBL Flex Bluetooth speaker that pops out of the dashboard. When docked, it functions as the truck's front center speaker and automatically recharges. Toyota markets the Tacoma Double Cab as a five passenger vehicle, but I found the back seat to be quite cramped. I'm six feet tall and with the front seats set for someone of my height, my knees were firmly pressed against the seat backs. So if you've got taller front seat passengers, the back row is best reserved for kids or a dog. On the other hand, if you can slide the front seats forward a bit, the back is more comfortable. If you do manage to sit in the back, there's a pair of USB-C charging ports and a 120 volt AC outlet for your use. The rear seats can fold forward, but there's only a small amount of storage space behind the right seat as the left side houses a subwoofer. Thanks to a more efficient box design, the short bed has more cargo space than last year's model. Previously, the bed width between the wheel wells was 41.5 inches, but that's increased to 44.7 inches this year. You'll still need to set 48 inch sheet goods on top of the wheel wells, but there are cutouts behind them that you can place a board into to keep things nice and level. The Tacoma Limited is only available with a five foot bed though, so if you want a longer six foot bed, you'll need to consider one of the other trims. The bed has several handy features, including a durable factory liner, a tie down rail system, lighting, a covered 120 volt outlet, and small storage boxes built into its walls. The one on the driver's side even has a USB-C and 12 volt charging port, so you can juice up your phone while tailgating. The limited grade also has a power lift gate, which can be opened or closed with the press of buttons on the sides of either tail lamp. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma represents a substantial upgrade from the last generation truck. It handles better, offers greater front seat comfort and a better driving position, has a more powerful and efficient drivetrain, and benefits from the latest Toyota technology. Its new design is even bolder than before, and there are more grades to choose from. Demand for the Toyota Tacoma has always been quite strong, and with the improvements that Toyota made this model year, I have no doubt they'll have trouble keeping these trucks in stock. Pricing for the 2024 Toyota Tacoma starts at $31,500 for the entry-level SR model and tops out at $63,900 for the Tacoma TRD Pro. The limited iForce Max model tested here starts at $55,800.